In many ways, Epic Universe is set to completely flip the theme park world on its head when it opens sometime in 2025. With an all new level of immersion and storytelling through highly themed and technologically innovative attractions, as well as all new entertainment and atmospheric opportunities, Universal is looking to do big things with each individual world found in Epic Universe. However, I believe there's one land that will do this more than no other, one that will find a new, maybe unexpected level of success above the rest. One that will shock and surprise guests, setting a new bar for what a themed land can be within a theme park. To me, that land has to be the new world of gods and monsters, a realm of darkness and intrigue, a land dedicated to some of the most recognizable beasts, creatures, and monsters of all time. A land known as Dark Universe. Now, I don't think it's possible to escape my own personal bias when talking about this land and its potential for success. Dark Universe is set to bring to life a world of horror and mystery, inhabited by Universal's classic monsters, such as the Ravenous Wolfman, Bewitching Count Dracula, and infamous Frankenstein family. And as someone who's very interested in Universal's take on spookier-themed entertainment through their annual Halloween Horror Nights event, I'm already on board with seeing this dark darker side of Universal done year-round. I'm also someone who has always had a love for the classic Universal monster movies of the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, as they played a pivotal role in my introduction to the horror genre. However, there's more to my excitement and confidence in Dark Universe than this nostalgic bias. Dark Universe is set to be the greatest tonal shift out of any of the five worlds featured in Epic Universe, taking guests away from the brightly colored fun and whimsy, or even the graceful magic scene in the rest of the park, into a place that's just as cute curious, but hidden beneath a dark veneer. But before we really dive into the importance of Dark Universe when compared to the others, let's look into the specifics of the land itself to get a better picture of what we're diving into. As described by Universal themselves, Dark Universe is the consequence of these classic monsters living amongst each other, with creatures of all sorts, as well as those looking to hunt them, roaming the village of Darkmoor. Darkmoor itself isn't based on one specific setting, but rather the antiquated pastiches of the stories that inspired Dark Universe. Like many of the other worlds coming to Epic Universe, these characters will play a central role in not only the attractions, but also the streetmosphere throughout the land, with Frankenstein's monster, the Bride of Frankenstein, the Invisible Man, as well as many others roaming about the village. As mentioned before, while this is a new story, they are using some of the iconic film imagery for different offerings. One of these offerings, the Burning Blade Tavern, uses the Burning Windmill, most known for its inclusion in James Whale's Frankenstein, as the backdrop for a unique dining location and haven for monster hunters. The laboratory of Dr. Pretorius will also be retrofitted to house a new makeover experience to further immerse those who choose to run with the monsters. I mentioned different characters outside the monsters themselves, and that's something that really excites me about this land. It seems as if we're seeing other figures of Darkmoor throughout the village, in restaurants, as well as attractions, expanding the story beyond what we're already familiar with. The previously mentioned Burning Blade Tavern is decked out with memorabilia and lore tidbits surrounding the monster hunters, while the Doss Steakhouse restaurant is crawling with the human familiars of bloodthirsty vampires. Street musicians sing songs about Darkmoor's rich history, and a band of mystics conceal a deadly curse within one of the land's main attractions. This really works to make the setting feel more alive, no pun intended, and allows those monstrous moments to not feel oversaturated, whether that be on the attractions, or just in the streets of the village. And I guess it's now about time to talk about the two major attractions featured in Dark Universe. Dark Universe will feature one roller coaster titled Curse of the Werewolf. This family spinning coaster will bring you straight into the first Wolfman film, where after entering the domain of a revitalized Maleva and the Mystics at large, you are designated with the Werewolf's Curse. This looks to be a spinning coaster on the level of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, but due to the dark theming and frantic tone, might be quite a bit scarier than the previously mentioned Epcot coaster. I'm not a huge coaster person myself, but due to the theming and as well as it being monsters, this one is very, very exciting to me. The main attraction of Dark Universe, though, is a dark ride known as Monsters Unchained, The Frankenstein Experiment. As indicated by the concept art, this seems to utilize the KUKA arm dark ride technology seen on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. 
Monsters Unchained is said to really push the technological boundaries of a ride of this type, utilizing highly detailed animated figures to tell the story behind the carnage. On that note, what really excites me the most, besides the potential of some industry-defining animatronic figures, is the story found in this attraction. Housed inside of the foreboding Frankenstein Manor, Monsters Unchained surrounds the experiments of morally questionable scientist and descendant of the famed Dr. Frankenstein, Victoria Frankenstein. These experiments involve the control of various monsters we know and love, such as the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Phantom of the Opera, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. However, as she's attempting to control the most dangerous monster yet, Count Dracula, he has other plans and chaos ensues. Victoria, aside from being the focus of this attraction, is a big player in the land at large, with the story of Monsters Unchained stretching out into the entirety of Darkmoor. However, they make it known that this story is a true horror story, and that's my biggest takeaway based on any of the details provided by Universal surrounding Dark Universe. Monsters Unchained and the Village of Darkmoor doesn't carry the same tone as something like Halloween Horror Nights, but whether it be with effects on the attractions or the general atmosphere of the village, Dark Universe is themed around the fear of what lurks around the corner, and what lies within the shadows of the human imagination. However, when compared to the impressive additions and attractions coming to all four of the other worlds at Epic Universe, what makes Dark Universe stand out as the single most important one? Well, for one, it honors a side of Universal's history that just recently has been getting the attention it deserves in the theme parks. Nearly a century ago, film adaptations of horror novels like Frankenstein and Dracula allowed Universal Pictures to continue operating during the Great Depression, kickstarting the craze of horror cinema that's still going strong today. And while the parks have always had touches of the Universal monsters, they were really only relegated to small-scale exhibitions of nostalgia for for the films specifically. However, people love not only those classic movies, but the characters they presented and the tone they portrayed, longing for the day when they could enter that world of dark fantasy and horror storytelling. Most recently, they've succeeded with this at Halloween Horror Nights, hosting a slew of different haunted houses that brought the classic monsters to a modern audience, finding success by making them truly scary again. And I feel like Dark Universe is the next step in that evolution. People love the Universal Monsters because they represent horror stories in their purest form. The characters are beyond recognizable when it comes to pop culture, and the deeper themes and aesthetics resonate with those across generational lines. So due to this, hype would naturally be high for a world that brings these concepts to life. But I think it goes a bit deeper than that. As I mentioned before, this is a land that is rooted in a very specific tone. A tone of eeriness that pushes guests to face their fears and embrace their darker side. It's edgy, it's thrilling, it's exciting, and it's the kind of emotion-based approach that is evident with all the other worlds at Epic Universe. Super Nintendo World and Isle of Burke are beaming with positivity and excitement while Celestial Park and the Ministry of Magic are surrounded within a graceful yet whimsical atmosphere. Dark Universe is not that. It actually sticks out like a sore thumb. However, that's what makes it so interesting and desirable, because it's something so different to what we typically see out of theme park lands. And I think a big factor that helps this is that it's all original. Sure, it's based off of many beloved films and characters, even going so far as to utilize visual iconography within the setting of Darkmoor, but like what they did with the monsters at HHN, this is an all-new take, spearheaded by a story involving an all-new character. This is strengthened even more with the addition of more new side characters to really show that this is an all new location that brings some of what we know, but is interpreting it in a new way. To me, Dark Universe is the wild card of Epic Universe. We've already seen how Universal has treated Nintendo and Harry Potter in creating a unique atmosphere and the successes that follow in utilizing both of these franchises. With Isle of Burke, we see Universal's focus on family entertainment come to life, albeit in a much grander scale than what we've seen before. However, in concept and execution, Dark Universe is something so mysterious and new, while also bringing the basics of what we know about monsters to real life. 
Like with those original films almost a century ago, Universal is creating a new take on these iconic characters, and utilizing all facets of the land, the streets, the dining, the interactive experiences, and finally the attractions, to tell a complete tale of terror for a new generation. For many, this will be their first exposure to the Universal Classic Monsters, and the fact that it's being done with this much care and attention to detail makes this land really worth getting excited for. However, even for those who love the monsters like I do, this land will be a true breath of fresh air while bringing those eerie aesthetics we all know so well. It's being developed with the purpose of striking that middle ground, whether that be between kids and adults, thrills and chills, or classic and new, and that's why I really think it has the potential to surprise those who aren't expecting it. Considering that the last attempt to build out a dark universe of interconnected monster stories failed before it really could get started, this new take is for sure a big risk for how different it is. However, if Universal is able to pull Dark Universe off, which I seriously think they're going to, they'll show that they're capable of truly reinventing the monsters again within the theme parks, as well as creating a land with an all new tone and setting that stands out among the rest. For that reason, I see Dark Universe as not only the world with the highest potential of being the best of the bunch, but the most important of the bunch in Epic Universe. I am genuinely so excited to see everything that Dark Universe has in store for us, but I also want to hear what you think. Do you think this land will be the most important one in Epic Universe? What excites you most about Dark Universe? If you like videos like this one about Dark Universe, Epic Universe, and Universal at large, trust me there are more coming, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it lets me know you like videos like this and you want me to make more of them. I of course want to thank you all for joining along with me in this one, thank you for watching this video, and I'll of course see you in the next one. Take care everybody.